What's going on everyone? David here. As you might know, we've got some sales numbers to talk about. Uh, lots of interesting sales numbers came up last week. Uh, I'm just now talking about it. It's been a big weekend, but I'm now fully rested and I am ready to talk about those numbers. So let's jump right into it. As you've seen with the title, we are going to talk about 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, game by Vanillaware, published by Atlas. And we also have Persona 5 Strikers, of course. Now, there's two little things that I want to talk about when it comes to those two games. So we're going to look at the sales of 13 Sentinels first. Then we're going to look at the sales of Persona 5 Strikers. And then we're going to put them together. And we're going to talk about multi-platform releases. Okay? So let's jump right into it. Should be very interesting. Now, first up is, of course, 13 Sentinels. Now, big shout out to Persona Central for the article. 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim as of March 12th. 2021 has achieved over 400k copies sold worldwide and that's including physical sales and digital downloads of the game those are worldwide numbers so we're counting the western numbers and also the japanese numbers for 13 sentinels the game reviewed extremely well great numbers uh, over the board great scores metacritic shows a 85 score on metacritic which is the the average of all the critics who reviewed the game it's great for this type of game absolutely good number here with the score of the game and there's also the user score which is not on a 10 a ton of people i only hear good things when it comes to 13 sentinels yeah so game exclusive to ps4 i think it kind of underperformed when it comes to sales i gotta of course bring up the marketing campaign the marketing campaign from atlas west was terrible for this game there was not a lot of push for the game, and whenever there was a push, it was like a character trailer. Like the first trailer, the first official English trailer that we got in the West, we didn't hear voice acting. Basically, they confirmed it that it would be coming on a day one patch, but at first, the first trailer we got, there was no English voice acting, already a turn off for some people. And the first trailer for this type of game, which, again, remember, it's a visual novel with an RTS combat system, the first trailer was a character trailer. A character trailer that doesn't tell that doesn't say anything about the game so definitely not a good marketing campaign when it comes to 13 sentinels are those numbers bad no they aren't my point is I think they could be way higher for this type of game for this type of quality of a game but we'll come back to that a bit later when I have to talk about multi-platform releases and Sega and Atlas now the second game that we have to talk about once again Big shout out to Persona Central for the article. Now, of course, next up is Persona 5 Strikers. Now, we got information on the sales of the game, but we don't have actual numbers of units sold, unfortunately. We got the NPD chart sales result for the week of release of February 2021, being the month of release for Persona 5 Strikers. Persona 5 Strikers ranked number three in the 2021 February month of sales. It ranked number three under Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury and under Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War because of course Call of Duty. And we're only March, mid-March at the moment of recording this video. So that's definitely great to see. I cannot wait to have numbers. My bet is it probably sold over a hundred K copies first week just in the States. So fantastic numbers for strikers. That is great to see. Now, of course, I mentioned it briefly, I want to talk about Sega and Atlas and their way to release games. They've been saying for years now, I'd say over the last four years, Sega and Atlas, they've been saying, they've been asking fans information, they've been asking their fans for information on multi-platform releases. In surveys, on which platform do you want to see the Persona series? On which platform do you want to see the Shin Megami Tensei series? On which platform do you want to play Vanillaware games? Those are the type of questions that Atlas will ask their fans. Same thing for Sega. And we've seen a little change in their practices. Now, as I mentioned, 13 Sentinels has been in development for multiple years. So it released exclusively on PlayStation 4. I think if the development of a Vanillaware game started tomorrow, I feel like they would consider more systems now because they prove with their review scores and stuff that they can make quality games but exclusivity i don't think is the best thing for them to do like 13 a game like 13 sentinels visual novel style with rts combat system rts belongs on pc absolutely visual novels in my opinion they belong on a portable system a switch version a steam version would have helped this game sell way more because quality PS4, the reason why it sold so much, word to mouth, because again, the marketing was garbage. In Japan, on its first week, it was eh, it was average for 13 Sentinels, but a few weeks went by, 
and it rose up the charts word to mouth that's the power of word to mouth now again if it would have released on steam with the massive install base of steam and on switch with its 80 million install base selling like hotcakes in japan every single week I feel like 15 Sentinels would have been way higher sales wise. So I feel I feel like Atlas and Sega will keep going in the direction that they're at right now with multi-platform releases. We've recently uh, saw the Persona series, mainline Persona, releasing on uh, outside of PlayStation. Simple as that. We got Persona 4 Golden on Steam. That's fantastic. And what did Persona 4 Golden say, uh, did on Steam? It sold extremely well. It topped 500k copies sold extremely fast. So they now know, they're at a point where they know that their IPs can sell elsewhere than their dedicated system. I'm talking here about mainline SMT being exclusive to Switch, mainline Persona being exclusive to uh, PlayStation. I'm talking about all of that. Vanillaware games exclusive to PlayStation. I'm talking about all of that. Why do I say that we've seen multiple games? Well, again, there's I can bring up other Sega titles like this that flopped because they're exclusive to a, sister, a certain system. 13 Sentinel is a great example. Sakura Wars 2020, exclusive to PS4. The game flopped. One of the most iconic series in Japan, Sakura Wars has been going for over 20 years. The game flopped here in the West, so that's really sad to see. Now, a game like Yakuza, Yakuza Like a Dragon, released on PC, Xbox, PS4, and now on PS5, the game's selling very well. Persona 4 Golden on Steam sold well. Persona 5 Strikers, as we just saw, sold extremely well in Japan, still selling extremely well in the West. Oh, but Persona 5 Strikers didn't was not exclusive to just Sony. It released on PS4, it released on Switch, and it released on Steam. Great numbers for all of them. So we don't know yet which version sold the most. My bet is probably PS4. Steam and Switch or PS4, Switch and Steam, something like that. Of course, with Persona 5 being the first game in the series, which is exclusive to PlayStation, at this point, still exclusive. So it really shows that multi-platform, when it comes to great titles, great series, like the series that Sega own, it just works. So I just completely hope that they're going to go out of their way to push multi-platform even more. Persona 5 Strikers, great sales numbers. And it released on multiple systems. It is that way for all their games. And honestly, Nocturne HD released in Japan. Switch, not Switch exclusive, unlike the 3DS port of SMT games that we got. Also released on PS4. Yeah, it sold better on Switch. But it still sold very well on PS4. And it's a multi-platform system. I'm sure it's going to release on Steam as well in the near future. So, come on. I mean, it's clear at this point. Put your game on every single system. Except if there's a really big deal that you're getting a ton of money from Nintendo, for example, to have SMT5. Or if you're getting a ton of money from Sony to release Persona 6 exclusively on PlayStation, why not? But I really don't think that's the case. So that's the reason why I feel like they should absolutely push their, their hypees on multiple platforms. They've been doing a great job in the last few months and few years, and I hope they keep going in that direction. The survey that we got last week was a sign that they again want to put their games on multiple systems and i just really hope that they're going to keep going in that direction strikers was not supposed to release on steam it released on steam they're realizing something i'm, I'm, I'm really thinking that they're realizing something and it makes me happy so that's it for what i had to say when it comes to those sales numbers i'm happy to see that persona 5 strikers is ranking really hard really high up the chart for the type of game that it is 13 sentinels Okay numbers should be way higher for the quality of the game that it is, but hey, still, still great to see. I want to say a big thank you to all of you guys. We reached this weekend 2,000 subscribers for the channel. That's amazing. We're not even a year in with YouTube, so that's completely... <laughs> That blows my mind, absolutely. So I want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys. Your support is the reason why I was able to keep doing what I'm doing right now. And I really love to do content. So please continue with your support. I really appreciate it. As always, thumbs up. It helps. Let me know what you think, what you thought of those sales numbers down in the comment section below. And let's talk about that multi-platform thing that I wanted to talk about. Do you guys agree with my point? Do you think I'm completely crazy to think that way? Drop a comment and let me know so we can talk about it as always. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date on anything Atlas, Shimigami Tensei Persona, you're at the right place. Please consider subscribing, ring the little bell icon, and we will see you next time. Bye.